All right, this is all an experiment. So the first two fountains went off, no problem at all. And for some reason, the buried MJG igniter in that thing, uh, it went off, but it didn't catch any of the composition. So what I decided to do is take the MJG igniter and rest it on the top of all of the comp. And let's see if that goes. I think this is gonna work a little bit better. It's all about practice, right? So here we go, number four. I hit it, oopsie, it's ready to go. And then we hit it, and there it goes, beautiful. It worked, woohoo! Hot dog, we're in business now. By the way, this is Laser Savers from Iron Man. Fireworks, same thing as Flaring Stars from Phantom. All right, you guys, thank you so much for uh, liking the video. <laughs> it's like giant head. Anyway, I hope you are all having fun preparing for your 4th of July celebration. I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek of part of the 220 fountains that we're getting ready for a big show, including over 50 that are 500 grams. Uh, and here they are. Let's see, how do I spin the camera? Spin! Ooh. <laughs> so you guys can see another really cool thing about Ignite Fireworks is they do have an, I'm carrying a tripod, so we're gonna go flying around here, go over the top to go back. Isn't that awesome? Uh, Ignite Fireworks, you can put anything you want on the queue itself. And for this one it says all in one eruption, 500 G. Um, blue Q3, it comes out blue when you print it. So that you can actually print all these labels. So I've got uh, yellow Q12, because we're using six modules. So here's green and there's red and all different colors and pink and stuff. So that is really amazing. So I just printed out a couple sets of it. One of them is gonna go on the firework itself. I'm gonna come over here and show you a little bit more. <laughs> I'm carrying this with me. And then the other one uh, goes, sorry about that. You guys are going to get all dizzy watching. Dizzy. Here we go. Ooh. The other one goes on the wiring. So the MJG, I'm going to put this down a little bit here. So I put it at the Q bottom right here. So this is uh, yellow Q12. Uh, so I know which firework this connects to. And then at the other side, the clip side, which is in there somewhere, there is the same thing. It's yellow. You just can take my word for it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> the quick plug down here, there's actually another tag. It says yellow 12. So the person that plugs these in, puts them into the fireworks, they're going to take the cable and then run it to the cue box, put it in. And then there's another one that mirrors this one on the other side of the rack over here and that says Q12 as well and that's it so then they will take that igniter and then just put it into the other fireworks so it all works in my head I'm pretty sure it's gonna work out okay and kind of be the fastest setup because we're not able to you know put these into the fireworks initially by themselves um, it's just you know not safe so I don't want to do that but at least we do some prep beforehand and every single firework will be ready with the, the cables on it uh, there you go. And then the six modules firing about 220 fireworks in all. This is just part of the, this is the actual rack setup. That This will be about five feet off the ground, about uh, 32 feet in width. 
All right, you guys, thanks for checking it out. If you haven't already ordered a firing system and you still want one, check in on the website. I know it's running kind of close to getting one for the fourth, but I highly recommend it. It's super easy to use, and uh, we'll go into a scripting video in a little bit just to show you how we're uh, designing all these fireworks to go off.